I did everything within my power to help your friend. But I'm afraid it's too late. Nothing can save him now. Sylvie told me. Nightshade? What are you going to do with that? You realize it's deadly. And has no place in here. This is for Cotta. You can't give him that. I don't know what that wildling told you. But that will kill him and taint his blood. <coughs> You? It's me, Cotter. I'm here. Where's Sylvie? I want to see her. Where is she? Did something happen to her? Don't worry. Our friends are taking care of her. What? Do you... What do you mean, our friends? She wanted me to look after you. Behind. Ah! To help Sylvie. Cotter! Oh! Oh, I can't bear it anymore! Oh. He's been incredibly brave. A lesser man would have died days ago. But I suppose you already knew that about him. This wasn't supposed to happen. I always thought he'd be here, fighting by my side. But now you can use his death to give his life meaning. This was always intended for my father. It's a sacred symbol of the power of the North Grove. Forged from iron, the handle made with ironwood from this very tree. In my father's absence, you speak for House Forrester. It seems only right that you should have this now. You're here for a reason, Garrett. It's no accident they sent you. I promise. I'll make Lord Forrester proud. I know you'll do what's necessary. Your friend is dying. But his life is too valuable to waste. Give me his heart. His beating heart. Then his death can have meaning. We can use it for a greater purpose, Garrett. An ancient ritual to help harness the power of the North Grove. But... We must do this, Garrett. I fear what might happen if we don't. Why me? Can't you do it yourself? Not alone. I'm far too weak. You saw what happened after the fight. My warriors, they're pulling away. Please, I need you to do this. For me, for the North Grove. I'm ready. Garrett. Please. Can't take it any longer. End his suffering. Use his life to make us strong, Garrett. Give him that poison, and his blood... ...will be useless. Use his blood to give us strength. I'll do it. For the North Grove. I knew I could count on you, Garrett. Use the dagger to open his chest. We need his heart. Good. 
Now grab his heart, quickly, while his blood still pulses through it. Now bring it here. Squeeze the blood into the fire. While it's still warm. Thank you, Garrett. I know it was difficult, but you did the right thing. Now we must burn the body. Too many fucking guards. Keep your heads down. We'll have to find a way to distract them. More guards. Place is crawling with them. Horses hate being tethered during a battle. If we can just get them loose. That must be Lud's tent. Of course he'd take the biggest one for himself. That tower gives a great view over their camp. Enough thinking. Where do you want us? See that lookout tower? It was built in a hurry. Probably from light, dry wood. Burn it to the ground. Consider it a pile of ash. Meet here once you've done your part. Good luck, Basilisk. Try not to get yourself dead, Westerosi. Can we rely on them? You can trust them to fight. Beyond that... Come on, let's get this done. Forrester boy. Make sure the little shit can't escape. But he can't run if he doesn't have legs. Do what you must. And if anything happens to me, kill him. Yes, father. Bring me my great sword. Fuck. What do we do? Now I want to make him bleed. It's my better only chance. We will kill Lord, and the White Hill army will fall apart. Quick then, before he gets away. Don't get too close. When he's distracted, we strike. Now, let's take them. The ruined. You've just won this war for me coming here like this. Oh, more White Hills. 
Nothing I can't handle. She's fine by me. Makes my life that much easier. You forced me to do this, Lud. We were both forced. By time and circumstance. I hope you understand that. It's over, Lot. I underestimated you, Cripple. But it won't do you any good. My soldiers are already tearing down your gates. For Asher! the basilisk. We were separated during the fight, right before I took Lud's head. He's dead. Good. I thought Beska would be here. Beska will have to take care of herself. To Ayra! They're everywhere. The White Hills have broken through, and the rest of their forces are closing in. Arrows, ready. We need reinforcements at the gate. Have you seen Sally, Mother? Why are you? She, have you seen Mother? No one knows where she is. Now! <laughs> My lord, your command. Seize the gate! You heard your lord! Retake the gate! Now this is the war I shall promise. No magic! Let's give those fuckers a welcome to remember! Uh. 
What you did was right. I did what I had to do. I'll let you light the pyre. Your arrival has changed everything. Even though we've been preparing for it all our lives. Now we don't have much time. We were sent here for a reason. To protect the North Grove. Winter is coming. And we have a role to play in the war to come. Our father never would have wanted us to stand by and see how's forced or fall. Not while we can still do something about it. It's too late to reach Ironrath. It may already be lost. You know protecting the North Grove is the right thing to do. Those were Gregor's last words. They sent you. You should decide. House Forrester needs our help. So we'll gather our forces and march south. May the gods guide us and protect us. In the name of the King, I hereby sentence you to death. Bring forth the next prisoner! This young woman is accused of murdering a loyal servant of the king. Who here bears witness to her crimes? I will speak to them. This woman is a traitor and a murderer! She's innocent! A disgrace to her family name! Spare her! Mira Forrester, in the sight of gods and men, and in the name of the king, I sentence you to die. Shame! Raven! Kill her! If you have final words, Shame. speak them now. She's innocent! Spare her! Spare her! Spare her! Spare her! 
A brave woman! Shame! Iron from ice! A brave She's woman! She's innocent! Oh, a noble Kill Neil! Forrester. They were nothing but Stark loyalists. And the Starks are dead. Are you listening, Reek? Father wanted to make sure they'd bend the knee. And what do I find? <laughs> A child lord. Ethan the Wise. With some parasite by his side. As if I'd come to negotiate. <laughs> and I thought, oh. <laughs> This is going to be fun. Mira was so devoted when we first came to King's Landing. Grandmother, that day Cersei dragged her before the throne, she claimed loyalty to me right in front of her. And then, that whole business with Tyrion. She stayed loyal to me when it mattered. But now, with what they did to her, who knows what Mira was doing behind my back. Grandmother, it makes me question if she was ever loyal to me at all. I saw something of myself in Garrett Tuttle. I thought I could trust in him, Sam, but I was wrong. He gave me his word that he'd stay true to the vows he'd made in the Godswood. Yet before a day was out, a brother was dead atop the wall. I needed his sword at Craster's. I'd offended him to Frostfinger. And it cost me. Whatever happened up there, a man of the watch doesn't run away. Who should return then? But another Lord Forrester. Roderick. Back from the twins with balls so shrunken he let Griff White till beat him into the mud in his own yard. Reek, I had to come and see this walking tragedy for myself. But he didn't even have the courage to stab me with my own... Blade. Needless to say, I wasn't too impressed. And then I thought, let's play a game. That's when the fun really started. There was something about Asher Forrester. You would have liked him, Miss Sandai. He was cocky, surely, but he wasn't uncharming. Asher needed my help. I needed to know if he deserved it, so I tested him. 
And he impressed me. He followed my every command, despite what it cost him with his companion. For that, he earned my help and my respect. I wish I could have done more for him. Perhaps if I had, things would have turned out differently. Loyalty. Friendship. Respect. Without them, we have... nothing. I think Mira understood that, Grandmother. She could so easily have turned on Sarah to protect herself. But instead, what she did it took grace. If you're fierce enough, you leave King's Landing with your honor intact. Mira proved that. But at so high a cost. Roderick. I could have told him this story wasn't going to have a happy ending. His brother dead. His mother dead. His little pile of timber in ruins. I just wish I'd been there to see it. That Bolton bastard let their upstart houses go to war, Father. I know these foresters. If they had any sense, they'd know when to bend the knee and live to see another day. They fought hard, I'll give them that. But they were too bold, defiant when they should have been smart. Ruthless instead of shrewd. When will these northerners ever learn? The Starks are dead. The war is over. And they lost. Roderick? My lord. We don't have much time. They may have won this battle, but they will not win this war.